Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum dear students. How are you all? I hope you will be fine by the grace of Allah Almighty. Dear students, we have started unit 5 heat and light in the last lesson and it's going on. So we have to read the next page and I will explain to you in today's lesson. So let's begin. Dear students, in the last lesson, we have learnt about heat and light. We have also learnt that heat and light are the types or forms of energy. And you know, I told you that energy is the power to do work. So, these two kinds of energy give us power or these two kinds of energy helps us in our daily were as i told you that heat gives us warmth in the winter season so dear students now we will do reading in today's lesson of our science book page 35 so open up your book page number 35 i will read the first sentence you have to keep the finger on the word I'm reading and read with me kindly. Okay, we are going to start reading and then I will explain you some more things about heat. We need heat to keep us warm in winter. Okay, as I have told you before that heat is very much important for us especially in the winter season and in our country there is so much cold and it uh, the weather is snowy and rainy and we need the warmth of the fire of flame or gas heaters to protect us from cold and that heat Warmth, give us warmth in the winter season and it protects us from the cold also. So, heat is very important in a way that it provides us heat in winter. Dear students, and the second thing that I told you about the importance of heat is we need heat to cook our daily food yes so you can read the second line with me we need heat to cook our food as you know without heat without using the flame on the stove we cannot cook our daily food i hope you all have noticed and have seen your mothers they are cooking food in the kitchen on the stove without heat we cannot imagine to cook our food it is not possible even to cook our food without stove or without heat or without the flame of the stove so in our daily life to eat the food delicious and tasty foods we need heat that is used to cook our food all types of different types of food dear students as heat is very much important for us light is also a kind or type of energy and it is also very much important for our daily life because if we do not have light we cannot see you know can you see in the dark no without light we cannot see anything and I also told you that the main source of light and heat is the natural source and that is the sun in the day during the daytime sun gives us sun provides us light and heat also so that we can see different things around us 
so for our planet earth sun is the main natural source of light and heat so sun is blessing for earth planet earth okay dear students now let's go towards our next sentence and that is light helps us to see things we cannot see in the dark as you know where you are sitting in the room there is light and with the help of that light you can read the words we are reading if you switch off the light and try to read the words from your books you cannot it is not possible to see the things or to read your books without the light so these two types of energy are very much important for us in today's lesson we have learned that heat and light are very much important for us these two are the types of energy as the helpers in our daily work heat helps us to keep us warm in the winter season and it is also used to cook our daily tasty foods light help us to see different things many things around us we cannot never see the things around us when it is dark without light we cannot see the things so i hope with this lesson you have familiar or you have known the importance of heat and light so dear students you have to read page 35 after this class thoroughly and carefully allah hafiz for today